In this video, we are going through 10 of the latest and greatest AI tools released by Google. You are not going to believe what some of these tools are capable of, and the best part is that some of them are not as popular yet. Kicking things off on a very high note is Socratic, and this tool could easily be every student's best friend. Socratic was not originally designed by Google. However, they acquired the company in 2019 and started powering the service with its infrastructure. Socratic is a tool that helps students with the power of AI. Socratic Supply answers in the form of videos, text, links to materials, and a host of others. It also covers a wide range of subjects, including social studies, science, literature, and of course, mathematics. For example, if a question has you stomped and you are completely clueless about how to solve it, Socratic uses AI magic to get you the best possible solutions to the problem. All you have to do is take a photo of the problem that you are trying to solve, like an equation that would be difficult to type. The results come in the form of an overview of the concept you have searched, step-by-step -step explanations, video walkthroughs, as well as additional resources that may be useful. The best part is that its solutions are displayed in a manner that is both explanatory and visually engaging. So the math does not have to be boring after all. And speaking of tools that make things way less boring, number nine is Notebook LM. Notebook LM was originally codenamed Project Tailwind when it debuted at Google's I.O. event in 2023. It was finally made available for beta testing by late 2023, and it is designed to be your virtual research assistant. If you are a student or a researcher, then you may know that keeping and managing notes can be quite a chore, which is why many people seem to suck at it. Apart from trying to organize these notes, being able to find all the information that you need when you need it is an even bigger problem. Let's assume you are trying to find information in a research paper. The regular method would be to start reading through the entire paper in the hopes that you will find exactly what you need. Nine out of 10 times, it is likely that you will miss the most important parts when reading through very long pieces of text. But alternatively, you can use Notebook LM by uploading the files to its platform and simply asking the right questions. Notebook LM will then look through the document in a split second to find all the information relevant to the question you have asked. It also comes complete with links to citations and sources for the information provided. Up next in number eight is Google Vids. Google Vids is yet to be released publicly, but what this tool is expected to do on release will change the world of video creation. Now, think about the amazing collaborative nature of documentation tools like Google Docs, Spreadsheets, and Slide. But this time, you are getting the same level of collaborative freedom with Google Vids. Google is calling it an AI-powered video creation app for work. It will be able to assist you with video, writing, production, and editing. It can also build an editable storyboard, and after you have chosen a video style, it will automatically create a draft with scenes made up of stock images, videos, and music. It will also offer preset voiceover and the option to record your own voice. When made public, vids will function alongside other tools like Google Docs, Sheets, and Slide. Now, beyond new tools, Google is also teaching new AI tricks to old tools. So let us look at Google Maps in number seven. First off is what they are calling immersive view. The point here is to allow users to almost simulate a journey, like they are right there even before they start navigating. The feature harnesses the power of AI to combine billions of images, from aerial shots to street views. Google is also making more of the interaction between Maps and its Google Lens. This way, Google Lens can display information about stations, restaurants, and shops, right on your screen with a team-up of AI and augmented reality. And with electric vehicles becoming increasingly popular, Google is also throwing in a little something for EV drivers. They claim that this feature is designed to reduce charging anxiety. Essentially, it offers specific information on chargers, like compatibility type, power rating, as well as last used time. Taking things up a gear is a tool that already has quite the buzz. Number six is Google Gemini. Well, a pretty interesting update that was just released is for people who write code. If you have access to Gemini Advanced, you can now run and edit your Python code directly on the Gemini interface. 
This way you can check your code for errors, as well as check how your final result is affected by changes. But even more interesting is what Gemini is doing for Gmail users. Instead of risking your emails to third-party platforms, Gemini is bringing email automation and organization to your doorstep. Apart from the amazing generative AI features, most people are very forgetful. So with the AI-powered filters in Gmail, your flight ticket emails will be automatically added to your calendar to send reminders before the day. Package tracking can also be done without having to scroll through hundreds of marketing emails to find the specific email that you need. Let's keep things interesting in the top five with the amazing MusicFX Live DJ. Have you heard about Google's MusicFX AI experiment? If you have not, I will get to that in a bit. But even if you have, you may have missed out on its latest Live DJ feature. In December of 2023, Google launched MusicFX, an AI music generator. The tool is designed to produce sample instrumentals from just the text prompts. It was released as an experiment in Google's AI test kitchen, and it can create amazing sounds with a decent variation of styles and probably the longest tracks of AI-generated music. Now, as cool as it already sounds, Google added an extra feature called Live DJ. While it is already great that you can just use a text prompt to get real music, Live DJ takes it a step further by letting you do more with the results. So if you generate a sound and don't like how it sounds, you can make edits to the sound and modify it rather than generating a new one. Still, on the topic of music, number four is Instrument Playground. Instrumental Playground is built on the foundation of Google's Music LM model. This one is designed to be exactly what the name implies, a playground. It also uses AI to combine words and instruments for more specific results. Now, while this tool is still experimental, it is still quite the marvel. Instrument Playground offers you access to more than 100 instruments from all over the globe, and it will create a 20-second music clip. But beyond just asking for certain instruments, this tool allows you to add adjectives to the chosen instrument. So, for example, you can request the sample to be calming, deep, or dramatic, depending on what you are going for. 20 seconds might feel really short in the grand scheme of things, but it says a lot about the kind of powerful music tools that we may see very soon. Moving from audio to visual, number three is image FX. AI image generators have risen to untouchable fame over the last few years of massive advancement in AI technology. And with that in mind, Google released ImageFX. Like any other image generator, this one also works with text prompts. So as long as you can properly describe the image you are trying to achieve. The plot twist here is that compared to other image generation software, Google's ImageFX is completely free. But it also comes with a tiny caveat, and that is its safeguards. With this level of power made available for free, chances are that malicious users may find their way to the platform. To prevent any unplanned outcomes, Google placed a lot of safeguards to filter words that are even remotely offensive. Other than that, you can sign in with Google and try it out yourself for some pretty interesting results. Number two, say what you see. Coming from the ImageFX tool, it is a no-brainer to discuss say what you see next. The use case for this tool may not be the most widespread, but it is something that may come in handy for most people. So if you are looking to take advantage of the many prompt-based image generation tools, you should definitely refine your skills with say what you see. And finally, at the number one spot is Magic Compose. Google has always led the pack in the software department, and now, thanks to generative AI, they can do so much more with their already existing tools. Magic Compose is one of the tools that explains this perfectly. If you struggle with texting or want to improve your text messages, you should definitely check it out. It draws from the best of guided customizations on Android and the best of Google's generative AI to make texting a more interesting experience than usual. Unfortunately, Magic Compose is restricted to use on Google's Messages app. You can just type your message and let Magic Compose know what tone you are going for with the message, and the tool will automatically rewrite your text. Whether you are going for a formal format or you prefer to be more casual, Magic Compose will get the job done in a matter of seconds. Which of these tools will you be looking to try out? Leave a comment below and check out these videos. Thanks for watching.